Who are you guys? Uh, Reconstruct the Dream from Chula Vista, San Diego, California. let everybody know what the hell happened to Metallica. Um, well, Lars was the first drummer, and he's got some cool ideas, but he's kind of a douchebag. <laughs> and... uh, yeah, I'm just gonna agree with Chris on this one. They're, Lars a great, just... they're a great band, but imagine if they had like an amazing drummer, how much sicker they would be. But they're still sick. I, I like Lars, too. Uh, he sounds too white to me, to be honest. <laughs> When you're not doing band stuff and watching porn, what do you guys do in your spare time? Chris, take this one first. I record other music, but that's kind of band stuff too. Um, Wait, go ahead, elaborate a little bit, because it's worth it. Well, I have a studio if you guys need to record. Good What's prices. Earthbound Recordings. Check it out on Facebook. Um, yeah, I'm always looking to do all styles of music. I love music. It's all I do. Yeah. I'm uh, actually an AV tech for On Broadway Nightclub. Do uh, all the house sound and lighting. It's pretty much a hip hop club these days, but we get a lot of different things going on. Sometimes we get some uh, electro acts, you know, kids like to shuffle, a little bit of that going on. Now, who, who would you guys rather bone, uh, Rihanna or Katy Perry? That's tough. I know. Easy. Tell me, easy? easy? Katy Perry. Easy? That's, that's, that's not an easy question I for don't me. Know. Katy Perry, dude. That's really I have good. an infatuation, so to speak. She does have nicer. I thought you did too, to be honest. Like, I don't know, man. Rihanna's pretty hot. I don't yeah. think we've ever talked about that. She's all Illuminati, though, and that's, that's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, if she's all not Illuminati, into that shit, that's dude. what celebrities are all about, though. That's what. It, that's the best part about being a celebrity. Not that I know, but. <laughs> and worst Christmas present that you had ever received? Um, oh god. It was probably a snowboard that I got. I wanted like a really sick snowboard with like bindings that actually strapped in, but instead I got the one that slipped on. And I was, I'll admit, you know, I was kind of bummed, but when I got to use that thing, it was the shit, you know. You could bail off that thing. That's what it's all about. Sweet bails. What about you? My best was a, my, probably the guitar. 
I got a Squire pack from Costco. And I love that thing. I remember there was a video that came with it. it told me how to play a um, wild thing. And it took me like t two hours just to try to play the chords. But it was, I mean, I'm still playing music today. So I'll never get tired of it. Favorite guitarist? I gotta list the boys from Strung Out, dude. Okay. I draw a lot of influence from their punk metal style, you know? Uh, Jake Kylie, Rob Ramos, big ups. What about uh... Megadeth? Okay. Yeah. What about Paul, Love the guitar what about work Paul there. Gilbert? You know who Paul Gilbert is? Oh, yeah, Racer X. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, pretty sick. Yeah. I hear he lives in Japan now. Paul Gilbert? Oh no. No? No, no, you're thinking of Marty Friedman. Yeah. Really? We yeah, Marty. Well, oh, you know what it is? I saw them on a TV show where they're. It was well, on YouTube. Well. And like he was there and they were both in Japan. Yeah, he. It's like he, guitar dueling, well, trade offs. Plus, plus he's, he's in Mr. Big and Mr. Big is huge in Japan. And that's what it is, yeah. probably the big connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean. And I actually just found that out recently, Mr. Big. And I remember that song in the 90s for sure. Yeah. Big hit. <laughs> So, you guys have anything else to say? Do you guys want to? What do you guys like to? Let's say if there's somebody watching in uh, somewhere in I don't know Africa, somewhere in, somewhere in the world is watching this. What do you want to say to them? Wow, Africa. Or wherever. <laughs> third Vietnam, world country. Vietnam. I mean, you know, internet. How would we spread our message to a third world country? Exactly. Uh, shit. We hope you have clean drinking water. Yeah. yeah. If you, if you get a chance, go on the internet. You know, check out our Facebook. Our band names Reconstruct the Dream, and if they could, you know, afford a jet out here to our next show, you know, December 14th at the Epicenter with Madball, that'd be the shit. But other than that, you know, we'd like to send some love out that way, just show them what we're all about, and hope that they could listen with some headphones or speakers. That's what we do.